Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. Yep, this is all good. All right. Don't know what the game is like on hard, but we'll see. Didn't I'm going back to help Seneca. I didn't get super far in this, but uh Please. I remember it's pretty dark story wise. You'll be just fine with these. Selica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will. Sure they will. Now have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Selica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Lafayette's older sister, and you're a student. He's dead. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> I just remembered some things about this, but I'm, I'll shut up. Man turned into a furry. <laughs> Arthur, help us! That was a quick ass time skip. That thing got hit like five times and it just staggered for two seconds. <laughs> okay then. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits. Hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Luffy, it's time to wake up. Oh yeah, right. There was okay. this part. Morning! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. 
<laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm. Bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cave. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? She's really gonna get angry at him for wanting to read a book. Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. Oh, I can shit. earn it myself then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. Well, I'm gonna go apologize for getting okay. a fever. Be back by evening. Thank you. Something completely out of my control. Uh, incorrect. There we go. Alright. If I'm on the hunt for prickle bores, I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town. This is for Lothi's medicine, so I can't mess this up. Okay, so right now I do have the game on hard, but uh... When I first played this, it was on normal. I don't know... Uh, I don't know how much more difficult hard is, but... It's too much of a... A hassle. I'll put it back on normal. Because, I mean, I'm mostly playing for story. You know, it's a Tales game. You've played one, you've played most of them. They do a little bit of change-ups here and there, but... Uh... Usually it's nothing too crazy. Except for, uh, what's it called? The one that came before this. Not Vesperia. What the fuck was it called? I don't remember, but the one that came before this was a little wild. Exclamation mark. <sighs> Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. Thank you for following, I can't Mana. That people can really turn into those things. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. Huh. Whoever named it the opening named it right. It's like someone opened a portal directly to hell. Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Yeah, let's that? just say that. Hey, it's good. Sorry. Your sister's dead. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. <laughs> Who just says that? You know, it's a good thing your sister's dead. Hey, Velvet. Is Lapiset feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest. I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit. Zestaria, that's the one. Terrible. I couldn't remember the name. Well, that one I played. I can do to help. Thanks, but we'll be fine. I finished At it. At least we've got Arthur to take care of anything that needs muscle. And before he came, Celica raised me and Lafay all by herself. So now I have to do my best, too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. 
you haven't played a Tales game since Symphonia, man, you are missing out. You need to play. This one especially, I didn't finish it, but I got like 20 hours into it. This one's great. You have to play this one at least. I should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like Arthur always says, battles are won and lost with the preparations made before the first strike. Yeah, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, actually, if you go to a Humble Bundle, or the Humble Store, I think it's on sale there because uh, Namco's having a sale on that site. Yeah, yeah, I know how a save point works. Yeah, that's my other save from three years ago. I just didn't finish it. I think something happened in uh, Final Fantasy XIV. And I just completely dropped the game. You know, let me... There we go. Uh, hey, Jarm. <laughs> you just come in here and say Pog, that's it. <laughs> yeah, how much money does she have? Oh. I was not kidding, she's got nothing. Right, I'm gonna buy as many of those as I can because I don't know how... And thanks for following, Jarm. Uh, I don't know how much hard is going to, how, how hard hard is going to fuck me. That's what I was trying to say. Anybody else have any exclamation marks? Oh, you do. The demon blight is a punishment sent to us by the Imperians for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Imperians? The four Imperians created the world. The one Imperian shall bring it to peace. You'll have Be to raid me one of these days. When contradiction <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. I'd appreciate world. it, but, you know. The time of it's totally your call. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right, then. Jesus. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? Okay, I don't- No, I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. Hold on. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd appreciate it if people didn't raid my fridge because there's actually a cake in there. And, uh, I want it. So, no, no raiding my fridge. Nope. Barely worth the money. Wait. Oh, stay out of my fridge. <laughs> Any other chests or anything laying around? Move! Oh, there's one. Alright, I'm gonna go get into combat and see how it is. What kind of cake is it? It's a, a, a sponge cake. What's in my fridge? Uh, I don't know. There's some soda, there's milk, water. My cake. I actually don't know what's in my fridge because I haven't, um... I've been ordering food too much. So I'm not sure what's in the so fridge right now. Promising. Yeah, ever since I found out about, um, Skip the Dishes and Uber Eats, I've been ordering way too much food. Same, though. I have to cut down on my ordering. It's costing me too much. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get those, uh, what's it called? Those, um... Meal prep things? 
Like they just send you a bunch of of uh, they send you a bunch of um ingredients to make food. Alright, combo attacks, yep. Stunning or defeating is. Oh, right, status ailments are a thing in this. Like, an important thing. Wait, how's. What's block? There we go. Okay. Alright, uh. Thanks for stopping by, Mana. Uh, have a good day at work. Is that all? You got a ten dollar coupon and you ordered General Tao chicken. I would have done the same thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the encounter that's thing. Done. That's always the same. The tutorial. What's next? You'll be knocked back if you try to attack. Oh, okay. They want me to get hurt. Alright. What? There we go. Recess the camera's position. Yeah. Oh, is this thing on semi-auto? No. How do I change that? That's the camera. There we go. You two owe me Symphonia? Well, I, like I told Mana, Jarm, you have to buy this one. Like, you've been missing out on so many Tales games. Like, this and Tales of the Abyss are probably some of my favorite ones. Like, the only way to play Tales of the Abyss on anything recent is on a 3DS, I think. But, um... You know, if you do a little... Uh, what's it called? Emulating. You can play uh, a bit Tales of the Abyss as well. But, at the very least, you should buy this one and play it. Like I said, I didn't finish it, but I, when I, to the point I got to, I enjoyed every second of it. Is it not letting me? There we go. It's on Steam, but I think Humble, Humble Bundle has a sale going for it right now. Humble Store, sorry. I think it's like 10 bucks. That's if you want to get it on PC anyway. I don't know if it's on sale on PS4 or not. Oh, I didn't know you could dodge like that. You can uh, double tap the direction. Not huh. bad. Okay, well then yeah. You can, if you go to the uh, humble store, you can get it for a. Uh, this should be enough to cover the medicine. I better bring uh, these 10, to the store. It's like 10 or 15 bucks. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Selica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. Yeah? Come to think of it, 
Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it. I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Celica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. Why do I have the feeling that's all these people eat? And weariness alike. Just boar something. Boar sausage. Eggs and boar. Boar burgers. Boar sounds good. <laughs> I can't imagine what the hell boar would taste like. Wait, why am I saving? I don't need to save. Especially prickle boar. They definitely have more health than than they do on normal. Let's see, what am I looking? Oh, I'm just supposed to go back, right? I don't have to actually fight anything. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickle boar meat now. Lockie and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them. But they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Oinkle boar? Why not just boar? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about piggle boar? Piggle boar. Yeah, piggle boar. That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. That's exactly what I was thinking. If you name it something cute, then people won't want to eat it. It's the same thing as, like, naming an animal that you have to kill. Oh dear. Wait. The boars I hunted. Are you there? Now uh, the boars are angry. Maxim 3. Never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle! Searing edge. Right, I forgot this is how the skill system worked. I'm used to the older games where you have like a just sort of normal attacking and then uh where you have normal attacking and then skills on another button. That direction in the button. Do I get more? Oh. I can never, I just never imagine voice acting for an RPG game because of all the noises and the random yelling that people do, like just yelling out the skill names and shit like that. I always found that funny in, Tail in Tails games, especially when you do like long combo strings and they just keep yelling out skill after skill after skill. You did it. Cirrus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. 
Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. I do not like him. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prick of boars off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! Oh, yeah. I can handle a bunch of... Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and your emotions can change it. I forgot that uh, there are some enemies that you shouldn't fight. I could become an exorcist? Because they're like way too strong. They're just wandering on, wandering around on the map. Why is it you think that birds fly? I remember getting my ass handed to me by Why? one. Well, without flying, thankfully I saved before. Food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Celica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back. I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Oh, boar quiche. All right. Some boar ice cream, some popcorn boar. Seriously, I feel like that's all he eats. Another game with dogs that you can't pet. Nico, here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Wasn't, she was just dissing her. Oh, I looking like a dude. I already told Arthur, but... I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Nick Gand? Like, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. Yeah, totally. Sure about that? He's totally not the bad guy at all. Anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Okay, well. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. This entire village just has an issue with, uh, 
not knowing when to shut up. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special quiche. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious. Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. Okay. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Okay. Oh, he gave I me free apple gels. I better hurry home. Wait, can I pet the dog? No, I don't want to talk to you. Ooh, Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. That chasing Whenever it's dogs up they trees. Dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen. Hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. I wasn't. Can I pet the dog now? <sighs> Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! I love the city names <gasps> and tales games. Uniforms. Would it make more money I'm always just so goals? out there. Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Lofty a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. The kid's always oh, sick. Why would he want so a heavy boring. winter coat? That seems where you're from, like the completely on. wrong thing. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No thanks. I want a peaceful life with Lofty and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. What does that have to do with anything? Just brought it right back to the quiche. What do we... What are you doing? Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming the entire village is just going to be talking about demons right now. Just sell those, right? salvaged items. Yeah, I think you just sell those. I don't remember if this game had a crafting system or not. Well, I guess I'll find out whenever the hell the game gives me a tutorial for it. Is there a menu that's hidden? Oh yeah, there's like two things that are hidden here. Hi Celica, I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cake tomorrow. No, you won't.
Anything back here? Oh, there's something over here. I did not see that. Did this just come back? Nope, it's something different. Okay. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Lucky, I told you to stay in bed. He's just drawing. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? Oh. A compass. Whatever. It okay, he was reading still. You which way you're facing. It's not like he's up there doing like squats or anything. For that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Lockie. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? A compass? Nah. You can tell me more about it later. Again, it's not like he was exercising, he was Stay just reading. You? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He okay. isn't going home tonight, is he? Wishful thinking. How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Molochean, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Yeah, about that. I can tell you've that. been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. Yeah, because I know what happens. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come well, for I us, mean, okay, I guess it's kind of obvious that something's going to happen anyway. But because I know what I happens, wish, I wish I could do that. This whole bit is just like, <sighs> no, I'm sorry, kid. You'll get there, Lucky Set. It should only take. Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And I want a recipe lesson, list no matter how of just nice about everything no they make with boar. Yes, ma'am. Right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Cooking minigame? I doubt it. What does it want me to- oh. It's just telling me I could climb. Is there anything up here? No. Alright. Something here. Sugar. Yeah, there is a crafting system. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Very well, cooking. Um, velvet? That's been persistent. Could I don't know why I bothered saying that. Spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once, and I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Special curry spice. What's so special about it? There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Ah. Oh yeah. I saw Nico today, and she had very important Isn't things Isn't sweet curry a thing? About. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Lockie, 
You know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl? Hmm. <laughs> You're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Yeah, okay. Oh, and she's got to be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. He's over here looking Me? like a girl himself. I, I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men, I just don't see what's so... <laughs> Fluffy, what's wrong? Uh, you know, just the fever he's had, maybe. What's wrong? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother, and I'm serious about it. I know. But I'm trying to look after you, too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Luffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. Okay. Well, it went from wholesome <gasps> moment doing? to prickle boar genocide. Dinner ready. She's also one that doesn't know when to shut up. This entire village, just full of awkward people. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. It's gonna do it again. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... I really wish the devs have put, like, a... They put just, like, a, a recipe list and everything involved the boars. Just literally everything. You little... Where have you gone? Just have, like, a little recipe list in the kitchen, like... Right you here. Better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. Uh, any exclamation marks? Nope, but there's a cutscene. Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wow, convincing. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free. 
but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. He's so, like six. What did he use the money for? I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Yeah, well, probably not six, but still. Belvin, I saw Lafayette walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Oh. Yeah, I was just talking to her, but... They won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. You mean everything? They're not scared of something. They're scared of literally everything. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. Oh, it's, it's almost like reading books if makes you smarter. In the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. He'd be lonely. Hey, Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of I haven't seen this games. game in forever. You sure know a lot about it. Yeah. Luffy said taught me. Uh, Just last played it three years ago, didn't finish Luffy? it. Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, I was in the middle of playing it three years ago, and something happened. I'm pretty sure something happened on Final Fantasy XIV, so I dropped it and never went back to it. I did finish... Uh, well, I forgot the name of it again. The, the, the game that came up before this one. Oh, what was it? The stereo, yeah, that one I finished. Is that all? Yeah, I finished that because I went, uh... When I bought that, I got it for five bucks, and I w had literally nothing else to do at the time. A break. Oh, you little. You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. I know. I I'm need to play Tales of Zelia too. I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... You really like the water trial theme? I get it. You're and... right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so 
I was going out to the Cape. The most I remember I... about Zysteria is you the combat the system, too, the you? merging, well, yeah, and that's uh. It. Fine. Uh, what Just was his name? Today, the wind, the wind spirit Are guy, sure? dying. I am, but next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Like the first one, it's the one with the hat. The cape, then. Hooray! Well, I guess technically they both had hats, but. Remember how we went out together to pick princesses on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you said. Yeah, the white haired guy with the black and the green cliff. color you scheme. He had like a. You had the, the, the top hat on your face? Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? I He'd forgot his name. Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. It's gonna bug me but now. What was his name? Where you were. A lone it's not Zavid. Were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, well, thanks for following, Kagra. Treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Lockie. Yeah. Me too, sis. What are you XD in at? You don't like my Chrono Trigger stuff? <laughs> I actually, uh, I can't wait to get affiliate because I like my, uh, my subscription things. I have a whole bunch of different subscription alerts. Not bad. But that's gonna have to wait. Now I think I have to say it. Why is it that the stick just goes from the bottom to the top? That is weird. Yeah, I gotta figure out what that guy's name is actually bugging me now. Uh, just look at all these. This place never changes, does it? Because I remember Zavid, but it that's not the character change. I'm talking about. The seasons, the wind, the weather. You change one and the sea's totally Dazzle. different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. I liked him better than Zavid, and then they just fucking hey, murked him. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Oh, spoilers. For a five-year-old game. Hey, Lockie. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh. The demon! Oh, hey, somebody else Locky turned says, into a furry. Run. No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Pretty Feel sure I can't way. hurt it, right? That yeah, that's right. Too, but please, go! Oh, Ow, bitch. It's, it's just like Arthur said. But I have to do this! 
<laughs> nice. Okay, kid. It's always been a problem with these, uh... Ooh, okay. With these Tails characters, they're, uh, a bit too brave. Or, you know, stupid. Every time. Got an RP walk, even though they're both wounded. Always got an RP walk. How? How did I get home? Velvet. Fluffy. So anime. Right. Yeah, I mean. Uh, sorry, it's all my fault. No, if you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. And then she wakes up. Was that... was it all a dream? No. No. No, it wasn't! It was all a dream. <laughs> Awkward. Wait, are they- wow, they can't aggro me. That's some bullshit. I can't even hurt them. What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy. Don't. Okay, well. Yeah, you're gonna teach me how to escape, right? Really have no idea how she didn't see this coming, because it's the exact same thing that happened last time. Don't give up. Never give up. Yo. Why is it Damn it. Here? I tried. Why the backflip? Wait, where the red moon at? Can't even see it. That trees are probably in the way. You don't see me. I'm not here. Fuck off. You don't see me either. Fuck off. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, wait, how do you RP walk? There we go. All right. Velvet. You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Lobby safe, didn't you, Arthur? Yep. One more sentiment to cast off. Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, fear shall be born the power to save the world. With Lapis's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? Uh, he's gonna kill him. Him go. This is an offering to the world. What I would do. Nothing can save him now. No, no, no. I see you will not change. No shit. Ever a slave to emotion. So you want to know something that's consistent through most of the Tales games, if not all of them? The villain, the main antagonist, is always someone that's close to the main character. Not Symphonia. Symphonia Mythos had nothing to do with uh, Lloyd, but most of the time, the villain is someone that has something to do with the main character. It's not always a revenge story, but it's always like Abyss, for example. Uh, Grant was what's his name? Oh, Grant was Luke's uh, trainer. Ended up being the main antagonist. Uh, what else? I haven't played Tales in a Tales game in forever, though. Like the older ones. I'm trying to remember which. I'm trying to remember the older ones. But man, like this was the last Tales I played, and this was three years ago, so imagine how long it's been since I played the other ones. Well, yeah, they're all you're saving the world, but I'm saying like the main antagonist is usually a fairy. It usually has something to do with the main character.
that Tails games are, uh, the end-all be-all is save the world. I mean, it's a, it's a JRPG. That's usually the case. Take a look around. I can't even think of a single JRPG where the goal, the end goal of the game was not save the world from this guy or this girl or this thing. For these people. Demon blight has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. As if that birds fly. Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. Uh huh. Translation I'm a dick and I don't care. <laughs> Might they toss her down here instead of just killing her? Make you pay. Like I get it, haha, <laughs> game story, but logically. Why didn't he just kill her? So did my world come to an end? And for three long years. Oh, hey, three years. That's how long it's been since I played this. I sat in that pit of darkness and fed. Devouring demons. So I could live. So I could live long enough to kill him. And be my brother's vengeance. Oh, right, to add to my earlier point, uh, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, Richter was a mentor to, uh, Emil. Well, that's another one. It just popped into my head while I'm sitting here watching this. I guess Zelia doesn't really count because you don't. Gaius doesn't really mean anything to Mila or Jude. At least not Where until the he? second one, I guess. First, there will be a test. It will decide if you are worth teaching. Here I come. If you are not, I will kill you. Ready yourself. <laughs> Yeah, this is perfect dodging. I forgot about that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, if you play as Mila, I guess her sister does have something to do with it, but as far as playing as Jude, it doesn't really mean anything. I didn't even have to dodge that. Why are you holding back? Yeah, I did the opposite. I did Jude first, and then got halfway through Mila's. Of course. His Moloch would never be so weak as that. Because the most fun I've had Moloch in Tales no games longer. is like the, the fighter characters, the monk characters, and Jude First, is so good. Like combat-wise, he's probably my favorite Tales character at the, at the moment still. There are exorcists now throughout the land. He was so good. So fun to play. Tell me. Tell me where Artorius is. You may find him in the capital city of Logris, in Midgand. You won't stop to listen. I can tell you what it was you saw that night. That night, the ritual he performed shifted the very course of the world. A host of Malachim descended. And with their strength, the emergent exorcists quelled the demon tide. Now, he serves as leader of the Exorcist's Abbey, an institution that enjoys the unconditional faith of the kingdom and public. A shield to guard the people, and a sword against demons, Artorius Colbrand, the world's savior. With power stolen by sacrificing Lafisat, Indeed, but his power is not yet absolute. The man can still be killed. Of course he can. Why are you doing this? Make a successful escape from this place and I'll explain. Escape? So that's your game. I gotta check Fine. the textures. I don't know if it's supposed to be that blurry. Thinks of me. What matters is my vengeance against Artorius. That's all. I have shattered your yoke. We must hurry. Shattered your yoke. Very random skill. Martial arts, hidden arts. Martial arts are chained into hidden arts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have shattered your yoke. It totally sounds fine to me. Uh, settings, right? Okay, textures, a shadow textures, draw distance, draw distance, reduce animations, that doesn't need to be on, frame rate, no, I guess the textures are just supposed to be like that, uh, I might have to see if there's a mod to upscale the textures later. Equipment. 
There are weapons in the room ahead. Just had her way down there by herself in solitary. Yeah. No one raised the alarm. I can see that. Take what you need from here. A convenient chest. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Storm howl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're uh. not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Okay, so I forgot about this. So yeah, this bit is just her stealing somebody else's cloak. Not even her outfit. Not even original. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? There's some other edgy chick that's missing her clothes now. Be careful. He's no ordinary soldier. He's an exorcist orderly. That flourish, though. You didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and okay, rear why, entrances. Though? Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. Yeah, I feel like... Shouldn't they just be killing the demons? I forget this game saves instantly and I don't have to wait. But yeah, I What is this thing? I guess it's explained it's a later. Special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging but, to a family uh, of Malachi. They appear feel like they would just kill the, the demons or they should ago. just kill them. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. I'll use the outfit every gives tool code vein vibes. Yeah. Indeed. You'll have to if you want. I can see that. I mean, both games made by the same people, right? So. And in code vein, everyone looks edgy. Not just one character. Guards coming. Two of them. This way. Did you hear? The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. Ah, yes, convenient shortcut to the docks under the watchtower. You know, that's exactly what they just happened to be talking about that she needs to know. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have 
intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front. That helmet of the looks so out of place and Understood. stupid. No one will get past us. Stay sharp. The threat could be serious. It's like if they're supposed to be wearing some sort yes, of tech, sir. tech armor, sci-fi armor, but they're in holy robes with a tech helmet. <laughs> like what the fuck? <laughs> this isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Time for a jailbreak. On the pizza delivery girl. Cool. Same level, different health, no weakness. Got it. The fucking equipment grinding thing. Or the skill grinding from Vesperia is in this, isn't it? Yeah, I wish I had saved Vesperia because I could have played that on stream as well. But when they re -rele when they re released it on uh, PS4 and PC, I got it immediately because I. Vesperia was one I didn't play because it was on Xbox 360. So when they re-released it, I was like, yoink! Pre-ordered that shit right away. Listen up! I'm opening every door to every cell! We're getting off this island! What the hell? You serious? Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates! Break through the gates and you'll have a ship! Yeah, but see, guarded by exorcists? I had a uh, PS3 at the I time. Mean, that pirate Von Eifried's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifried? Melchior. I won't force you! You want to rot in here? Then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too. Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl. Rogues like us are always I'm up for I'm sick a of the slop they feed us. Ceres. Oh, welcome back, Charm. From there, we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you. I'll use any tool I need. Okay, so everyone's free, but there's people still just standing around talking to each other. What are you even doing here? Oh, what do we do? Is it better to run or to stay? Yeah, okay, they're just trying to decide if they want to leave or... <laughs> He's happy face. You're not going to escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They I'm sorry? Die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. 
there this goblin just sounds like a normal Amazing dude. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey joined forces with the kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Oh, this is mouth Doing moving. Them means taking on the whole world. That's a costume. I know who's at the top. His mouth isn't captured moving. captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Moloch will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die, as long as I take Artorius with me. I'm telling you, that's a costume. His mouth was not moving. That's a midget in a goblin suit. part in this stay the hell away from me. <laughs> he went from being happy face to meh face. <laughs> Did his dialogue change? Nope. Hold up. Is there a first person in this? No. I don't even know what the... Oh, he's a zombie. He likes being undead. Better than being regular dead. You know what? Fair. Because at least he's alive in a sense. Did I come through here? No. He was just hanging out. What the fuck? Oh, it's the tiger guy. Wait, didn't she eat him? And this one wants to be painted like one of my French girls. Why is he- <laughs> Alright. You know, I'm not gonna judge. You do you. Battle boots, you say. I- Oh yeah, they have skills. Okay, I'm out here. Oh, I recognize, I recognize that voice. It's Magilu! <gasps> what is wrong with you people? There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly... From paradise down to hell! No worse, a grimy prison cell! <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well? Oh my god, the rhyming. And you are? to introduce to you the wise sorceress who traveled the eleven seas who scoffed at the might of dragons none other than the acclaimed the illustrious what no ma like soggy shoe or doggy do or call me any of those things and i'll turn you into a froggy stew <sighs> i suppose you'll never understand can be so Did she just try to put a fucking spell on me before she said her name? Like I care. I don't even remember what she said. I'm pretty sure I heard Shaka Khan in there somewhere. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. 
You must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malakim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again, I'll crush her and be done with it. Rude. So wait, where did I even come from? Whatever, I'm going this way. Oh my god, there's... Oh, well I guess I'm in a prison, but there's so many cells everywhere. Alright, just gonna comb through this one real quick. I'm not even gonna bother talking to anybody. Uh. Any chests? Any items? I oh, hear something. Okay, I want to know what he's got to say. A pussy werewolf, huh? Look at this dude. I need more clothes than that, man. Two are just chilling in there. Okay. Uh, gonna leave. Hopefully, uh, there's no more cells to go through. So now I go through here, and that's it, right? Yep. This. Increases maximum HP. Oh yeah, the herbs. I'm the watch tower. I guess that's why I don't have a marker, because she has no idea what the fuck that is. Well, watch tower's gotta be up somewhere, correct? Ring. Uh, resistance, art defense, void ring. Uh, you know what? She's almost mastered that, so I'll keep that on for now. Britannia. I forgot that's what the prison's called. But because of Final Fantasy XIV, every time I hear Titania, all I can think about is that fucking song. Rokuro! More? This one. He's a demon! Get ready. Okay. You're not human. <laughs> True enough. Okay, calm down. Do something. Okay, when I want him to combo, he won't combo. Okay, you know what, buddy. Fuck 
fucking. I have got to readjust to playing this, it has been so long. What? I was behind you. Chips and the blades already. Huh. Riddle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? That was Please a complete 180. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry! Naval snipe charge in battle after guarding for a set amount of time. Ah! I remember that. Is that something you just equip, or...? Is that just something I have now? Yeah, I guess it's just something I have. Stormhell. Could that demon be...? What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury, but when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. <sighs> oh, except for you. For no, minute, she's pretty I unusual. Don't care what a Moloch thinks of me. Yeah, no, you know, I always go outside and, uh, say hi to the people that can eat people with their fucking arm. Yep, that's a totally normal thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Finished here. Let's hurry on. Getting out of here comes first. Ember blade. The number. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Has she mastered this yet? No. What is it? Do? Oh, attack plus five. Hmm. I'll wait till she's mastered the one she has on, though. A bunch of dead ass people. The tower should be just ahead. Oh, thanks for telling me. I'm going the other way now. They've got the gate to the docks locked down. Ah. Uh. Can't break through. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away. Oh, come on. Okay, there's another person for you guys to be hitting. You know that, right? Don't 
Chill the fuck out. Oh my god, I can't wait till I can actually use Devour. Come on, really? The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. No good. Uh, no. I've played this game up to a point the before. Path collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Uh, but again, it was three years ago. I played it for about twenty hours, so my memory is kind of foggy on what happens. But I do remember key points. You're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I think when I was playing it, uh, Final Fantasy XIV updated, so I ended up dropping it. And then I completely forgot about continuing it. But if it's a Tales game... If it's the normal uh, playtime, I'm expecting it's going to be at least 40, 50 hours, so I've played halfway through the game, I guess. You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power, but the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose right. you. Take that. Yep, still not know- I still don't know why they didn't just kill her. You better be ready. Like they, I don't know. They, it might have been explained when I first played it, and I forgot. But I feel like I would remember why they just—they didn't just kill her outright, or any of the demons for that matter. Are you sure? This way leads to the main entrance. If they know you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. Walking through the front door seems legit. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? You want to stream Baldur's Gate 3? Didn't? No. Isn't. I'm acting on uh, my Isn't only one act out will. right now? Like the first act? And yet. Sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A praetor is far more dangerous than an order. Oh, after early access, okay. Out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overcome Yeah, that's this probably one, gonna be a goal was hopeless to begin. A long one. You're a demon, but still a lady. So I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey. Dragonia. Of what a fucking last name. And more stupid helmets. Huh. All right, graceless demon, it is then. 
I hate the shape of that sword. It looks so dumb. No, stop. How will you fare against them? Uh, thanks for following, Dr. Stabby. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, no, screw you. What the hell do you have? Oh my god. Ow. Tiger effect. Oh yeah! Good lord. Do I have any more- any arts yet? Any other arts anywhere? First Retribune, yeah, that's already there. Searing Edge, Slicing. That is not anywhere. What does this do? Sure. Wait, times use 14. Where? Huh? Oh, he's resistant to fire. Good. What? Your skill. Spend a moloch or two for this. Hey, you're dead. I also remember this. It's lost control. Just turned into a random fucking dragon. You don't say. Please consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lafayette. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Our 
one and the same. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know what I she means by that yet. <laughs> when you and I and Arthur were <laughs> together. Now I should have Devour, right? I forgot he was even here. Fucking dickhead. Move if you don't. Nice got her blood code. <laughs> Attacks ignore combo limits. Yep. Here I come. She absorbed that mother's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon. I don't remember, is there? Nope, there is nothing stopping me from doing that. Yeah, you know, you ever get knocked on the ground and then you take less damage from, you know, getting kicked or punched or stabbed? You know, if you're ever about to get mugged, just fall over. But the knife can't hurt you, the gun won't hurt you. Oh, it takes one of the the gauge things. I remember now. That is so messed up. Why does it take... Okay, whatever. Oh, 
Man, that was hard. Apologies, but I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? And dickhead. Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour Demon and Moloch and Exorcist alike. It yeah, now's the point I where you a leave. Yeah, you should have left before she did that. She gave you a decent amount of time to do that. Oh, -ho! finally, some place that might not be a death trap. When we tumbled from the tower, I thought, "This is it, Moggy Lou. This is the end." It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Stormhower was back in my care. Velkorodon gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. Oh, favorite party member acquired. And no, it's not Moggy Lou. And thus our merry band is formed. Now we're missing... Well, I won't say who, but we're missing a character still. looking mighty choppy are you a sailor no but i do know the difference between a sail and a rudder i'll take what i can get do what you can you're leaving without a proper crew very well then i certainly owe you this much at least brave words <laughs> but 10 minutes in this storm and you'll lose all sense of direction don't think they care no we won't Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell or rot in a fish tummy. Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies. I'm coming for you, Artorius. And they conveniently get there too fucking late. Two of them, by the way. <laughs> Prison breaks happening, people are escaping, and they send two guards. Bet you one's a rookie. There's the other one. They got their best guy set on fire. Yeah, you know, he would have been fine if he had left earlier. Stay back. Let's go. 
Excuse me. My word, a demon muncher. You really are a box of horrors, aren't you? Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgan. Northgan? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? <laughs> Something worth breaking out of prison for. <laughs> Jim! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tails to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise Hellevis. that much for conversation, but we'll find Love food tales, the, the city, uh, The city names and tales games. Earn the new title, Bloody Boot. Do titles do anything in this? That's... Do I have costumes? Yeah, I don't think I ever bought any DLC, so no. Yeah, I don't think titles do anything in this. Never mind, I'm fucking wrong. Have you mastered any of this shit yet? Oh, wait. Okay, so these should be mastered next fight. All right. <clears throat> Velvet, you know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakine. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him, that's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to? And he stole that compass, too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. Yeah, okay. I suppose. Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Oh, the wind, it bites! How can you stand wearing that garb? It doesn't seem humanly possible. I never said I was human. Magilu, your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Dignity, Self -improvement huh? Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? Yep. So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. <laughs> Wait, what are these 
again? Oh, yeah, 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 right. Stun, just check it. Stunned enemies also take double damage. Yeah, when they're stunned, they take double damage, and when they get knocked down, apparently they just they take less damage. Well, perfect, I got new belts. Uh, HP recovery, yep. I want that. I'm not gonna grind out any of this right now. Fuck off! Wow, that thing is way faster than I am. Exactly how I feel. Hey, yeah, there's no way that fat ass is faster than me, right? Okay, good. Let this fucking bird is. But hold on. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Oops. That's awkward. Okay, go back in business, it's fine. Your internet went poop again. Fido sucks. Change provider? Are you still at work? I've never even heard of someone that uses Fido for internet. Well, yeah, I know they do. I just, I've, you're the f literal, the literal first person I've ever heard <clears throat> that uses Fido. Every time, especially, oh, well, in Canada anyway, anytime I ask someone. <laughs> like, if, anytime they talk about so the provider, nice it's either Bell or Videotron like I want. or, uh, Rogers. Ties to home. It's complicated. Uh -huh -huh! Then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. <laughs> yeah, you owe. nobody says Fido. Oh, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh gosh, me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this will do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? <laughs> Back for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale uh, of betrayal, yep, of course. most wicked and foul! <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry. I'll laugh. Emotions will touch the rafters. 
No, thank you. Why'd she smirk at the end of that? Those three boxes over there? Oh. Oh no. Cats. I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out? Meow. Paulies. Oh, oh Jesus Another Christ. Weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? You sound like so this. creepy. Sounds just like what I found at Titania. Perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Kitten really? caboodles? Then how about kitty clumps? Okay, that's even worse. Anyway, one night we were having a feast so marvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. Don't what? I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to emiosipate my friends. Oh my god, stop putting meow in everything. Really? Thank you, Rokuro. It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats boxes like these here. Meow. Uh. Here you'd say emsipate. This one would be edoxipate. And finally... I'm free, Meow. See? Emiosipate. By that logic... Shouldn't it be e cats of hate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look. Oh my For god. Real? I guess I totally underestimated you. Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor clost brothers and sisters, meow. Clost. And why should I? Please. This cutscene is killing me. Cats. You know. Cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our dead. We'll make it worth your while, I promise! And, if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Yeah, yeah convenient. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. How much do you have to eat for your spirit to leave your body? Ten gallon hat, really? No, <laughs> no, it's just no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I make this jump? No, question marks. playing Godfall where the fucking parry is the parry window is so forgiving. I have to get out of Godfall out of my Godfall mind. Come on really New Blade uh three souls you were able to hold up the fight sword once your soul provides blah 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 try not to let enemies take your soul okay Try not to let enemies take your souls.
I have a very vague memory of this part of the game. Oh, good. Exorcists. The fake Power Rangers are still well, here. That's just inconsiderate. Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I I apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. Thief. Throw him in the prison. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Mm, is he your dessert? If necessary. Okay, that's a little awkward. He must have gone this way. Oh, wait, no, the marker's over here. I'm still trying to wrap my head around. They ate so much that their spirits left their bodies. There's a ladder. Sounds like me after I eat food coma. Yeah, but your soul doesn't leave your body. You just pass the fuck out. A storehouse? That smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? Also known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. Mix it with sulfur and you get explosives! Mix it with oil and you get fuel. Sounds dangerous. If it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse. We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons too, if I'm to be able to do that. just fight. completely you tired of her shit already. Wearing one. Nope, not an option. So hard isn't so bad yet. I don't think it's gonna get too annoying. I just have to get back in the uh, tails, the tails feel, because I haven't played one in forever, and I was just playing Godfall. So right now I'm like reacting to things as if I was playing Godfall. Because the par again, the parry window in Godfall is so fucking wide. I never really actually had to like perfectly time anything. When I grow up, I'm gonna be an exorcist. Oh boy, here we go. I wanna protect my mommy and daddy. Hold up. Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. You've gotta protect everyone. That sounds really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah! Exorcists are the best! Exorcists? Exorcists! They're treated like heroes, I suppose, to normal people. They are. Exorcists are the best. Uh, did I? There's nothing down there, is there? Nope. Oh, one of the NPCs here, I remember, one of them is bitching about global warming. I think it was a female. I remember that specifically, because I, I even, uh, 
like took a picture of her bitching about global warming and showed it to somebody. Uh, I have other... I'm probably just gonna main her the entire time, so I'm not gonna bother giving these to anybody else. Where was that NPC? Gear, I'll take it. I have to go all the way. Wait, there's no like easy way out of here, is there? Nope, I gotta go all the way back around. Thanks, Namco. I'm down there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna look for the NPC while I'm doing this. Oh, there's a cat's chest. I don't want to free it. I don't want to hear the stupid... <laughs> the stupid uh, speech pattern. What the fuck are you doing? You're not even hidden. They can see you. Okay. Is that the guild? Oh, hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys, poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. <laughs> Everything she says just triggers velvet. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, does finding them only give you cosmetics? Is that what happens? I don't remember. Anyway, where's that NPC? Oh, god damn it. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? Damn that dial. If he were dead. Excuse me. We need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Oh, doesn't she look like a bitch? Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? She is a bitch. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain order. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. <laughs> we will capture, interrogate, and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgam was so cold. <laughs> A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. I 
I just want Magilu's Mogul is totally fine though. My my, so this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cool, cool world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this style person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. He kind of looks like Ardbert. While you wait, find us a good Is it just me? There. Looks like an anime Ardbert. I wonder what darling Rokoro's got up to in the meantime. Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. Reducing, oh. Okay, so there was a chest back here, right? Okay, so yeah, there is crafting in this. I remember now. I gotta be careful uh, with what I sell. Got swords yet? Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out. Of course. A blacksmith that sucks at bin. making weapons? Hmm. I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. High standards. Burn! All the more reason to skedaddle! Oh. She turned that around real fucking quick, Jesus. Yeah, I remember now. This game has a fucking equipment grind. Though I remember it's not as bad as uh, Tales of Vesperia, at least. Alright, let's see. Where's the junk? So the coins I can sell. I'm not sure about the rest of this shit. Like, is I don't remember if like the ones that are just marked as bags are things I can sell. You know, whatever. If it bites me in the ass later, oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those I can sell because these are crafting materials here, right? Like cooking and crafting materials. How much money do I have? Oh. Increases map movement speed by 10%. I'll take it. Uh, what else you got? Is Rokuro fully equipped or? Yeah, he is. Yak. Hey Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, really? Also, I don't care. <laughs> At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The talk of the town. House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Hmm? Why do you say that? 
Although, I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Helm of Yak. Boy. Alright, uh... Oh, I actually have to walk into these places to find out what they are. Oh, she's just chilling in here? Fucking freeloading. Mm. Oh, good. There's the safe point. Let's rest. Do I need to? No. All right. I'm going to stop here. I've been going for uh, two hours and 40 minutes, so I'm going to take a break, get up, go get food. Thank you guys for coming to watch. I appreciate it. Uh, later, Kagura. Uh, I'm gonna stream again tomorrow. I'm gonna try doing two a day. So in the morning, I'm playing Seven Days to Die, and in the afternoon, I'm playing this. We'll see how that works out. But yeah, thanks for coming. Um, gonna take a break. See ya.